Hi everyone, this is Scott White and Kiblitz from Photocrati. Today I want to show you uh, how to display your images in full size. So um, that is a question that we get a lot is, you know, my images are big, but they're coming out small. And it, it, it doesn't, it's not all next gen that's causing that. That's actually reliant on multiple factors, your screen size, the size of your image, um, your WordPress theme that you're using. If your WordPress theme is not full width, then you can't display the image full width. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go here and add uh, a slideshow that is um, full width to my content area. So here's a pro slideshow. I'm gonna add uh, my home gallery and I want my gallery width to be 100%, show play control, I'm not even gonna show captions um, and I'm gonna turn on the display triggers and let's just save that. And now I'm going to save the, the gallery and save a draft, I mean, save the post, the page, I mean, and preview that. Now here is my full size uh, gallery and you can see that it's not 100% full width um, because it's my content area only goes this far. Now this is a pretty large image considering it almost fills up my, my laptop screen. But then if I want to see this even bigger, I can use these display triggers and from the slideshow, I can open up uh, the pro light box from Next Gen Gallery. And you can see here that again, the image I uploaded is not full width, but some of them are actually larger than the other. So you can see this one's much larger. And this one I know uploaded recently was really big. So now this is still not 100% my full screen, but this is the pro light box. So because of this, I can actually turn this into full screen. All I have to do is hit the F key. And now uh, I am in full screen. You can see here that scottwine.com is now in full screen. That'll go away. And now again, it's not 100% full screen because um, the image, the proportions of the image are not the, you know, the laptop dimensions, but it is uh, practically full width. So you can see if I navigate, this one's much smaller. It's not going to expand to make it full screen because your image will look horrible. It'll be, look all fuzzy and pixelated and grainy and not so good. So um, this is, you know, the Pro Lightbox is designed to keep your images um, full screen so that you see everything, uh, you know, in one shot so that it looks the best. It's got the, you know, minimal, um, minimal background so there's no distractions, but it's not going to expand an image that's smaller than your monitor. So. Here's another one, this is very large. It almost fills the entire screen. And this will adjust per screen size. So the bigger, you know, it'll get bigger if it is bigger. It'll get smaller if you're on an iPhone or an iPad or a ta any other tablet, it'll get smaller and just fill that screen nicely. Um, so here, you got more. So um, that is the beauty. That's how you can see everything full screen. If I hit F again, it'll leave uh, full screen, go back to the regular ProLight box style. I can hit escape and exit out of that. And again, I'm back to the slideshow. So full width really depends on the WordPress theme that you're using, how big, you know, how wide is that content width? If you're using a WordPress theme um, that goes edge to edge, literally edge to edge of your browser window, and you put in a next gen gallery that um, goes full width, if you have it set to go full width in the content area that is full width, then your gallery will be 100% full width. Um, so again, it depends on where you insert it. And some, some galleries, the trigger buttons that open the light box are in line with the gallery. So if I go back here and I change it to uh, a thumbnail, so if I change it, let's say we go to the pro film and I leave it the same gallery, I can show the display triggers, right? So I can show them and then let's save the draft and then we'll just refresh the gallery, that page with the gallery on it. Now it's going to show this and I can obviously change the style. I can make the boxes uh, less. I can do lots of things with this, but um, you can see there's trigger buttons here. If I hide those, it doesn't make a difference because I can still click on an image because it's a thumbnail gallery. Thumbnail galleries, you can click on the image to bring up the light box. On a slideshow, you cannot click on the image because that will just change the photo in the slideshow. So um, again, full width, it all depends on your settings. It depends on 
the size of your image, and it depends on how wide your content area is where you're inserting that gallery. So all these different factors come into play. Uh, again, this is Scott Wyden-Kivowitz from Photocrati and NextGen Gallery. Thanks for watching.